videos, photos, music, transitions, they all go into your LumaFusion projects to make your content stand out. And they're all found in the same place, the media library. The media library enables you to insert media and other content into your project. Tapping the sources icon at the top left of your media library will open up the menu where you can delve into a variety of sources. Photos enables you to access images and videos that are in your device's camera roll, whereas imported shows you the footage that you've downloaded from cloud storage or a connected drive. To import footage, simply tap on the import button at the top of the library box. Find the footage you want to bring into the app from the list of media sources and download. This file will automatically go into the imported folder, which can then be dragged into your timeline just like any other file. This linked folders option brings you quick and direct access to media in the files app and folders from any other apps that have a shared folder of media. In addition to media already on your device, like videos and music, you can also use this linked folders option to access any footage you have on a range of wireless connected and USB-C drives. What's more, if external drive editing is turned on in the help and settings menu, you'll even be able to edit directly from the external USB-C drive. Again, saving you space on your device, as media added to the timeline will not be copied into the LumaFusion cached media folder. The Storyblocks option that you see here in the source library will enable you to access a bank of royalty-free footage, backgrounds, music and sound effects that you can use in your projects with an additional subscription. There are some free options here if you want to go and trial them out. These can be inserted onto the timeline just like any other piece of media, but note you will have to be connected to the internet to download them. However, if you already have music downloaded to the music app on your device, you can access it offline here. You'll also be able to add transitions to your timeline by just dragging and dropping between clips, or even title presets that have been made by the team at LumaTouch or yourself within the title editor. You'll also find access to Frame.io and Dropbox Replay in the media library, collaboration platforms integrated into LumaFusion. These enable you to review and respond to comments on your work when collaborating with your team or external clients. LumaFusion gives you the opportunity to personalize this list in a way that's best for you. You can add, remove and organize your library sources by tapping this plus icon at the bottom of the menu, dragging elements you want to use all the time into the menu and take things out of it that you don't use. If you limit the source list to the items you use time and time again, this will help you stay focused and work faster. Learning to effectively navigate the LumaFusion Media Library is crucial, so have a good rummage around in there and see what's available before we move on to all of these individual elements in future videos.